Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ernest. This video is a short introduction on Dynamics. So before I get started, I'd like to introduce about myself. So I'm from Malaysia. Um, I studied mechanical engineering and graduated from University of Malaya. I got first class for this degree and I have quite a number of students uh, on mechanical engineering subjects for their uh, final exam preparation. So uh, I, the reason why I created this channel is I understand as a student uh, how they struggle when their lecturers uh, explain in a very difficult to understand way and you're going to spend a lot of time to research uh, online to do the uh, research and spend time on going through textbooks. It is a boring process. So that's why you're here, right? So as my style, I don't like to have a lot of bullshit. And because this is the very beginning uh, video, and for the following videos, there will be no more bullshit. OK, so let's get started. So in engineering, we study about the forces. When we apply forces to an object, there'll be two scenarios. One is the object will be in stationary, and the other scenario is the object will be moving. So in stationary, it means that all the forces apply, the net force is equal to zero. And this object now is in equilibrium. And therefore, we have the subject called statics. It might have be different name for different university. OK, and looking on the moving part, when we apply forces to an object, the object started to move. And that's why on this subject we are looking for is on dynamics. And in dynamics, there will be two parts. One is on the kinematics, another one is on the kin kinetics. OK. On static subject, you might have experience. If you have taken this subject before, it looks like something like this. So we're going to deal with the forces, the moment, etc. So you can calculate the deflection, the moment, as well as drawing the moment diagram. And for dynamics, we have study on the kinematics and the kinetics. These two works look very alike, but there are some differences between them. In a very simple way, kinematics, it doesn't deal with force. In kinetics, it deals with force. And the parameters for kinematics will be displacement, velocity, and acceleration. And for kinetics, we deal with force, work, and energy, momentum, and pulse. And if you have started the pre-university level uh, in physics, uh, you might have a great foundation uh, on these uh, topics and just in this uh, subject dynamics just a little bit one or two more chapters that you have not learned in your pre u level okay for kinematic the topic will be rectilinear motion so the word linear it means the object move in a straight line it can be in the x axis or it can be in the y axis just in one axis curvy linear motion is simply uh, two axes, the object moving in two dimensions, which is the x-axis and the y-axis. That's why we have the projectile motion. And next, we learn on the dependent and relative motion. And uh, it depends on if you see some, they don't have this uh, uh, chapter. It is on the pulley system, the relative uh, velocity of one will affect the other one. And for kinetics, we will have the force assertion, the Newton first, second, third law, impulse and momentum. And we have the work energy, and also have the planar rigid body motion. This is uh, what, uh, the extra one. We will learn on the angular displacement, angular velocity, angular uh, acceleration, and as well as the torque. And how it means simply means one object how it rotates and uh, we deal with the forces to study on it. Okay, and based on my experience, I have uh, the students around the world, like most of the lecturer, they would prefer this textbook as their reference. Uh, it's the RC Hebler Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics. And otherwise, maybe uh, it's just good. And most of the around the world, they, most of them will choose this book as their reference. Okay, and that's it for a short introduction to between the kinematics and kinetics. Alright, so I will see you on next video. Thank you.